Akihabara! It's the best place to go figure shopping. It's just got such a great atmosphere. There's anime all around you. They're playing anime songs from all the shops. And it's just the best and most fun place to go figure shopping. Today I'm going to take you with me around the shops and we're going to have a look at the figures and see how much they cost here, which might surprise you if you've only bought figures in the UK. When I say Akihabara is the best place to go, I mean it's got the biggest choice and it's the most fun and exciting. If you want the cheapest figures, it's actually better to go to Nakano Broadway, which is about 5 or 10 minutes from Shinjuku on the train. It doesn't have the atmosphere of Akihabara, but it's got all sorts of collectibles at great prices. There's a video about it on my channel, and it's also got some great food options, including the famous giant rainbow ice cream. I've never even attempted to eat this, but it looks amazing. I'm going to focus mainly on anime figures, and I'll show you a few games and electronics at the end. We're going to see a mix of new and second-hand figures. There's more expensive figures, there's the cheaper prize figures. I really like the shops with the glass cabinets where people sell their collections and you can find some real bargains in there. You can see more of what's around and all the different shops in my tour of Akihabara. I'll put the link in the description and there's New Japan videos every Thursday if you want to subscribe. I'm going to start off with some cheaper figures. Now lots of these are prize figures so if you can't win them in the UFO catches in the arcades, you can usually buy them in the shops. That's what I usually do. This time I've noticed a lot of these Q-Pos kits and Disney figures which I haven't really seen in Akihabara before. They are cute with the massive eyes. <laughs> You can also get good prices at Hobby Off, which is a second-hand shop with branches all around Japan. I got some great figures there recently for only 380 yen. On to my favourite type of shop. There's lots of these places with the glass cabinets where people rent a cabinet to sell their old figures. So you could find anything. There's lots of them, you'll find them really easily all along the main street. And there's more in Nakano Broadway. Now these are all second-hand figures, but I've found they're usually in perfect condition. They just might not have the boxes, that's all. I think someone's getting rid of their k collection. <laughs> When you want to buy something, you grab one of these slips right in the box number, which is here on each cabinet. The number of the figure you want, which is on the sticker, the price and the quantity. And they've got some pencils here ready for you. Then you take it up to the counter and the person comes over and gets it out for you. And they usually wrap it up if it doesn't have a box. If they don't have these slips and you want to buy something, just go up to the counter and take the assistant over to the right cabinet. you want to buy it is quite popular it's better not to buy it straight away the first time you see it because with the popular figures they are repeated quite a lot through the different shops and the prices do vary quite a bit so shop around but if you see something rare grab it as soon as you can
Here's a cabinet with some games. You haven't really seen them in these shops before. If you know where to shop, you can probably match these prices online. But if you're here in Akihabara, you know there's no customs or import charges and you've got all the fun and excitement of hunting for figures. Here's some higher price figures. 39,800. Why not? Figures in case there's a sample not for sale. <laughs> Although, yeah. You can buy the one in the box though. Yeah, she's almost 15,000. I like it, but I'm not. are arranged alphabetically by hiragana. If you don't read Japanese, the spines are all in katakana and kanji, so you had to pull them out to see what the games are. The best place for games in terms of prices is Bukoff, which is a second-hand store with lots of branches. This is the old soft section, the retro games. Not a massive selection. But I guess that's a joy with every book off. You go to it and each one's completely different. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure this is cheaper than most other retro shops. This is the only Dreamcast game they have here, unfortunately. <laughs> Choice of one. 250 yen. I think that's, that's pretty, pretty cheap. But I've seen other things like, I'm sure I've seen things like Wave Race, which is quite a classic y style game, and DK64 for considerably more. It's 500 places. yen here. Yeah, I think there's a certain, uh, someone just charge more because they know people will buy those things, so it doesn't seem to be the case in. Yeah, that's understandable. Sometimes people ask if you can get things cheaper here in Japan in electronic shops like Softmap or Yodibashi Camera, and I'm no real expert on it, but from what we've seen, the prices are similar. Some things are a bit more, some things might be a little bit less, so it's not really worth hunting to get yourself a discount here. However, they do have a lot of stuff here and there's a lot of things on display if there's anything you want to see. Like the other day, we were looking at some headphones in Yodobashi camera and they had a lot more out for you to try than when we were looking for them in the UK. And these are also a good place to come if you need some more batteries or another memory card or a charger, but obviously everything's got Japan plugs on. <laughs> There really is so much in Akihabara, so I'm sorry if I haven't included your favourites, but we've had a look at some cheaper figures, some more expensive ones, and hopefully that's given you a rough idea of how much things cost. So I'll see you next week on Thursday. Thursday.